Hello, we're back. This is episode 11 of the Let's Play. Um, so just to start off, uh, someone in, ch in the comments wanted to know the settings I'm using. I know a lot of settings. So I figured I'd just go through them really quickly now. And then people can like pause the video or whatever to see what the various settings are. So let's just pop over here to options. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of, you know, scroll down here. Uh, enough that you know people can pause and see what I have and uh, there we go okay so without the way <coughs> there's been a bit of a time skip since the last episode uh, I was doing a lot of grinding, uh, economy grinding, uh, and I figured it was it was a very exciting show. Basically, what I was doing, if I head up here to the map, uh, this is it where I am right now. Uh, over here is my soup kitchen. The time it takes to walk from here over to here is enough for it to refresh its stocks. So I'd come down over here, I'd fill my uh, my my watering uh, skins, my water skins, with soup. And I would teleport back and I would sell the soup and I would buy stuff. I kept doing that again and again. And eventually I came up here. Let me uh, let's move the map. I came up here to 68 stilt and I made a little bit of lava in this area here. So I was also going to 68 stilt, checking the schematics there, buying files and filling stuff up with lava. Uh, I learned some more tinkering stuff uh, before we go to the fun stuff. Um, a fun thing I built here was the lead acid cell. Uh, something I've learned since the last episode is that any thing you can make with tinkering that stores liquid uh, can safely store lava. So this lead, lead acid cell is supposed to be powered with acid. We can fill this up with lava. It won't work obviously, but it means you can store lava and lava is worth a ton to sell. So basically, uh, each one of these wood cells, if you, you it's, it's only like 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 a wood bit, which are fairly common. You can basically turn each one bit you have into like I think like eight traps of lava, uh, which is worth about maybe like 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 three hundred bucks, I think something like that. So it's a good way to make money if you're a tinker. You can build, we can build lead acid cells to store lava. Uh, there's some more stuff you can also build stuff like the um, the combustion cells will also do it. Um, the biodynamic cells, but I think they're both quite expensive to, to craft. And there's also the gyrocopter backpack. You can store like 60 drams or something. You can, it, it ends up being like, what, what, like, you know, uh, I think it was like up to a thousand money, I think, last time I, I, I tried it. But yeah, there's, um, um, anything, you, if you're a tinker, you can just make stuff to store lava and you can use lava then as better money than soup. But in addition to getting money, I also was able to get a couple of, um, important schematics so i mentioned already we got the eigen pistol from before uh this is a pistol that lets you shoot true enemies and hit multiple enemies in a line uh, i have also found the recipe for a handrail which is a very high tier weapon it's basically a laser um a really good laser gun um so we have um the two of these i mean and, and, and we can actually build both of them and then in terms of mods, we just go back down here to the bottom. We got ourselves uh, jacked, which means that rather than using a battery to power it, we can just power it with our electrical generation mutation. And we got phase harmonic, which means that we could use the guns while we're phased. You see, we can't make phase harmonic yet, but we should be able to make a couple of uh, jacked ones, I'm hoping. So let's just go ahead. We'll start with the iron pistol. There we go. And now if I go to the Eigen Pistol, what do I need to uh, to jack it? Um, so where's my Eigen Pistol? Uh, yeah, the idea... Uh, uh, it's this Eigen Pistol, yeah, because like, oh, it's not, not, maybe, I have to, maybe I have to go from the screen first so those that exist. Now if you go to mod, will I find the Eigen Pistol? There we go, okay. So to jack it, we need more nanomaterials, so we can't jack it yet. Um, and we're going to need, to need photonics nanomaterials to face harmonics. So it's not going to be ready yet, but we can still use it. 
So I'll do the same thing actually. We're going to go ahead and make a handrail too while we're at it, if we can. There we go. So now we got two really good weapons. We can't mod them yet. We're going to go to here. We're going to unequip the Rune of House Eyes now. It has served as well. But now we're going to put the Eigen Pistol in that one, I guess. And then we'll move this and we'll go put in the handrail. Doesn't matter which one because we have a Kimbo, so we, we fight, we attack on the boat. They're going to need some power. Okay, we're actually. Yeah, I'm more concerned about our power situation, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, if I remove that cell, can I make it radio powered? I can. Okay, good. So, radio powered means that um, it will uh, recharge itself passively. So, we're going to use that. Uh, and we're going to equip this into. Oops. We're going to. Uh, I think I got to do. It. I got to do it from here, I think. Yeah, so go to the Eigen Pistol, install the radio power nuclear cell. So that's going to passively recharge over time. Um, and now we need power for the handrail. Can I get myself a nuclear. We don't know how to make nuclear cells. Okay, so I need to eat a banana. Do I have any bananas on me? Uh, I do have a banana on me. Okay, so we're going to just head pop down back to uh, it here. Um, I have not made a cooking area here, so we'll do it now. There we go. Oh, we actually already have psychometry. I guess I, I ate some bananas already. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, take this out. And then we're going to... Examine it. Good. And can we make a nuclear cell? No, we need photonics. Okay. So that means for now we can only really use one of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the Eigen pistol, I think. And we're going to remove this for now, replace it with the uh the Rune of House Eisner, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, I want to do this one. Yeah, I'll actually do the Foreign Subterranean Pistol of the Jungle, which is just a chain, a chain gun, because uh, that will help us uh, disarm people. So, yeah, I mentioned last episode that we were going to be talking with these people and stuff, but uh, I want to play with my tool. I want to play with my, with, with, with my new toys. So, what we're actually going to do is do the uh, Raising Indrex. Crest. So I'm just going to wait a second. Where's the? Oh, I don't wait in there. Okay, good. So I'm just going to uh, teleport to Kayaka here, and if you remember correctly, we uh, Warden Indrex chased us out here when we accidentally offended him. So we're just going to go back over here to Water Atrium, and we're going to ask him to join our party. There we go. So now we have one Indrex in our party. Uh, something I need to do with him is, because of the Clever Girl mod, I can change his gear and stuff. As I mentioned, he equips the dagger because it's a better weapon on paper. Uh, but he has this... In oh, this is engraved. Let's actually look at this. Um, At a remote yurt in Ekash Slum, Shapur met with a group of nomads and commissioned another fact to evoke the presence of... Oh, I think we knew that already. Okay, so... Um, that's good. Uh... Examine this. Crystal gauntlets with suspensers. Ooh. What does that do? It's weightless when it's got power in it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and they do a little bit of heat and cold as, as well. So I, I'm, I'm probably going to be taking this off him eventually. For now, he can just keep it in his hands, I guess. Uh, like I said, no, I can't change his primary limb, but he's going to realize that it should be that one eventually. Uh, and that's everything I want to do with him. I can also give him some instructions on how we should uh, manage his uh, skills. There we go. Uh, there, I made him learn axe skills. I will make him learn the short blade and make him learn... I think tactics has juke in it. I'm not sure. We'll do axe skills for now until he has the rest of his axe skills and we'll, we'll figure it out. So for this quest, we got to follow this, wa this river until we find the, the goat folk. Um, village.
So let's go into a walk across. I don't think we get mad poles down here, so I think we should be fine to walk through the water. Okay, we've got some goo here. That should be fine. This is okay. This is slimy jungle. If it was a slime bog, I would. Whoops! What's happening here? Oh, we got to do in front of us. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to phase to get away from. Them. Oh, it looks like or oh, the one killing for us. But yeah, um, if it's a slime bog, I would look on that more. Cause slime bogs can spawn cloning, um, cloning dra uh, um, stuff. We can actually use that to make like a bunch of clones of water injectors. We have like loads of water injectors. Okay, so I thought the river would continue this way. It didn't. So we gotta keep going this way. Yeah, okay, I can see now. It definitely goes this way. Okay. There we go. And it's actually my second time doing this quest. Uh, I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. The first time Mammon killed himself straight away was really funny. Oh, we got some people here. Uh, let's go and use our new toys. Oh, this rest is really very funny. Um, okay, we got a psychic dude up there, I gotta be careful. Got two psychic dudes up there. Okay, why don't you throw a grenade in that direction? Um, I don't know where one in Drex is. Okay, so I'm going to phase here a little bit. There we go. And we will unphase. I'm just going to wait until someone is in view of us. There we go. Can I hit him from this, this angle? I don't think I can. I'm, let's sprint. And stand like here instead and now you can shoot him there we go okay one well, injects is attacking him we're on fire let's uh stop being on fire okay one well, injects has killed him for us let's deal with you gotta be careful not to hit, hit injex because we might accidentally uh disarm him there we go things are going pretty good uh he's gonna go and attack him down there i guess oh no, he's over there Okay, so he's up there doing stuff. We're gonna shoot this way. There we go. Reload. There we go. Okay, lots of stuff to loot here, which is nice. Uh, one Injex is just fighting people. He leveled up level 17 now, nice. And we could cook a meal. Okay, it looks like that's everyone dead. So, in terms of skill points, what do I want now at this point? Uh, spice will allow me to make more interesting meals. Um, I don't think we need that right now. Uh, anything I want from pistol? A uh, dead shot would be quite good with a pistol, actually. Uh, these actually won't be good for a build. Uh, I may as well get them, though. We'll see. Um, here, I have everything I want from Tinkering. We have Minerals, Lord, Lord Jungles. Uh, in terms of Aqua... Oh, I think there's a... I think it's in self discipline. Oh, it's in Druids. Uh, okay, Wedded would be good. But, uh, we need a lot more toughness for that. So, I guess maybe here. Oh, self meditate would be good. Because we can get fasting away. And that will allow us to um, uh, keep our food buffs for longer. Uh, let's stop moving that direction, I think. Uh, now let's start looting everyone. So we got this grandfather horn. Oh, we're actually already overburdened. Uh, I think we might have looted some stuff as we were running, running around. Yeah. So we got some more mechanical rigs. Uh, I'm actually going to equip these <laughs> because I do, I do miss. Actually, do it. Can I equip them? I can. Yeah. So I, I miss having, I miss having fly. Um, let's look at you. Uh, while traveling near uh, Markov, it showed that Dal Doctor was captured by bandits. She murdered their leader by trapping him in a jewel. So that's what wrote as Sapphire Waker. Oh boy. We have a new uh, uh, a new historical site. We're going to examine this weird artifact. It's a gaslight flisser, which is a pretty cool weapon. Um, so that one, that's that one dealt with. Um, 
Is there anything else that could be? Oh, we want all soup on us for some reason. Um, I'm not entirely sure what most of this made. Oh, it's probably coming from this stuff. Um, so I gotta be very careful about giving weapons to um, in uh, to Idrex because, as I mentioned, he uh, doesn't understand, and he is just going to equip a uh, things are better than his axe on paper, even though the axe is better than anything because he has lots of axe skills. So I'm going to give him. We're gonna keep all these weapons, I think, because uh, I don't want him equipping the other weapons. Uh, but I'm gonna give him all of my water skins. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. That's like a hundred pounds of weight already. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I'll give him for now. You can just store that for us. Uh, we're going to uh, up the stuff. So down here we have ooh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll grab this. Here we have armor of some kind. It's one in three. We're currently with stud, stud leather armor, so we are going to lose a little bit of our AV, but we'll gain a lot of dodge. I think at this point I do want more dodge. So we are going to equip this. Good. Uh, and then I'm going to just go to you. Uh, give items. You can take this stud leather armor. This is going to be grenades of some kind. We'll give him stud leather armor. There we go. Uh, let's go examine the grenades. Source seeds. Okay, cool. So, head over here. Uh, we're going to grab this. Uh, down below us, we have a plaster for jerkin. Um, I don't guess we were picking up. It's up though. Um, do we pick up some other stuff as well? Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, I looked at the painting already on that. Okay, I think we picked up and then immediately disassembled a jewel encrusted item. Uh, did I do that? I don't think I did actually. Um, oh yeah, because it's up here to the top right. There we go. So, this is going to be worth a lot of money to sell. Let's grab that. Uh, grab the bullets, I guess. Uh, keep the spiked steel gauntlets, but the long sword. So, picking up the cell. Uh... Puma Chitin Vest, ooh. Cats won't like me, but that's 3 AV with no downside. Uh, so I could end up, I would lose a bunch of my DV, but then my AV is going to go up to 6. That is tempting. Uh, I might see if I can get some better armor to pick as well. Um, what do we have over here? We have a buckler and a longsword. Grab the longsword. And here we have a dagger. Grab the dagger. Okay. We have an axe here. Grab the axe. And we have a dagger. Okay. That's probably all we have here now for like good loot and stuff. So we're gonna continue on the journey. If the gives recharged. We'll see my this is back to full now. So the uh, the way of how nuclear cell is doing doing work. We're going to continue on our little journey here. When we're close to where we're going to, uh, we'll see there'll be a um, uh, there'll be a, a bunch of um, smoke. What did he kill? Okay, stalker. I thought he killed some kind of like uh, high tier guy. Okay. We'll keep going here. Oh, we have a snow second coming this way. There we go. What did he drop? He dropped the skirt caps. It gives, it gives extra intelligence to you guys. That's pretty funny. Uh, what do I. Well, okay, I don't really need the ape for head right now, but I don't really need the ego and the intelligence right now either. I'm going to pick it up because it's quite light. And this is what? A steel kirky? Nah. Let's continue on our journey over this way. I just realized we're quite high on um, weight. Oh, you see, there he did it again. He's not equipping his 200 axe. Why is that? Why are you equipping instead? 
Oh, no, you are. Okay. Do they have two of them? I'm not entirely sure, but we are going to give you... Uh, oh, it's not there anymore. Okay, maybe this... Only for some reason. Uh, we'll give you this stuff because it's quite heavy. Uh, as I think, actually, anything that's carbide, we should be able to safely give to him. Um, I, these ones I'm not sure about, but anything that's carbide, I will give it to him because he should be able to ha hold those without changing his equipment. There we go. Right, we'll continue on our journey. Uh, thing shooting us. Oh, we have some dudes here. There's an albino ape, another one over there. Oh. Get up. And we will. It's up and we will disassemble this. We have tons of twos. I would like more woods though. Um, I can like use that for making money and stuff. Uh, this is a wrist fan. Okay, with a chem sand in it. And this is a two-handed sword. Okay, yeah. So we are going to remove the cell. I'm actually going to just disassemble this wrist fan. That way you get a couple of trees. We're doing actually more for tinkering stuff. Uh, so in terms of the modding I want to be doing, we need uh, six for this. And I think those fives we needed. Yeah, we needed fives. For you, or oh, this is the space that's interesting, but yeah, we're gonna need five or six, is, is kind of what we're looking for here mainly. She can I make another nuclear cell and radio power it? Okay, we need we need um, sixes for those as well. Uh, the ruins around our uh, id should be a good source of sixes. Uh, if I have a, some better, if I get my hands on some better armor, I'll consider going over there. I think. Okay, I'm in trouble now. Uh, I am going to phase. We get a little closer. There we go. And then we're going to odd phase and we're going to just shoot at you. Okay, good stuff. What do we have here? Elastine gloves. Um, yeah, we'll cut them. There we go. It's now up to 19 dB, which is quite nice. So, our AB is a bit low, but if, you know, if people don't hit us, then... Okay. Yeah, let's go wait until healed. There we go. And we'll continue on our on our journey. Okay, so there's a little bridge over here. Got some. Oh, this is like a, a villa, go for village of some kind. It's in the bloody chest. We have um kind of book we have some copper and we have this and this good stuff okay okay bloody flayed gold folk okay so we're actually getting close to where we need to be we'll actually head down this way there we go there's some fighting happening over here but it shouldn't be a big problem for us so this flayed gold folk village shows we're on the right track we got some shard corpses as well. So this is a village that was of uh, old folk that Mama and didn't like and killed them off. And this is a sign that we're on the right track. I'm going to keep going this way. Let's double check actually the directions to make sure. I don't know if you have to go south at that point or not. Um, Okay. Yeah, okay, so keep going east. So we still haven't found it. I, don't, I think it should be quite close to that. There'll be like a vendor somewhere. 
and there'll also be a bunch of smoke as well when we're closer to where we need to be. Oh. What we gotta do here? That's boots, okay. More Puba Chitin. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up for now. And then uh, this. So this is quite dangerous the tubs of our defenses. It's hard for, for them to hit us, but when they do hit us, I'll do a lot of damage because our EV's really low. We got some apples. There's a frog over there. I've been frozen. There we go. I'll actually eat some food. Okay, good stuff. Any exotic foods? Uh, that. So let's make a new recipe. Uh, I want to use bay silk. Uh, oh, we only we have two greens at the moment. Um, the face glute will do the bop cheek, because why not? I will see what that does. Okay, if you go prone, I phase out. Whenever you phase out, you jump three times in a row. Uh, I can use phasing. Okay. So not either very good, we'll grab down, I guess. Okay, we got blown off into the other area. Uh, I'm going to face so I can get a little bit closer to him. We'll get discharge. Okay, so I'm going to shoot this, but we can't see him. Uh, we're going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. Are we overburden now? We're not. Okay, we're almost overburdened though, so we'll not loot for a bit. Okay, you guys are killing goat folk. I'll actually give you some items. Uh, give items. Uh, yeah, take these. Oh no, that's, that's quite right. We'll take this one though. Oh, why is the axe? Did he just. Did he unkip his axe again? Uh, match gear. Oh yes, I don't want... Maybe he has two of them. Oh no. Yeah, okay. My health is dropped. Um, I'll use the salve. Okay, there we go. Here we have, okay. Grab the dagger and we are going to disassemble. Grab these, okay. There we go. Why didn't you pick it up? Okay. Oh shit, we got some people there. Oh god, uh, I need a phase and get away. Yeah, I think I definitely need, um, uh, higher AV. Especially because the, 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 I can't dodge a grenade. So we're going to remove this and replace it with the chitin. Have anything else to do here? No, that'll be fine. And, uh, no, I'll keep that. Uh, grab this over here. Can you on a journey? Oh, we got some cool stuff here. This is an artifact. We take, we took it. Good. And there is. Uh, ooh, a heap of our cloak. We'll grab this. Well, actually, we'll equip this. I know we'll get it. Because we have the wings now that we can use for defense. This is. Okay, uh, an arm that injects cut off. It's stuff. I need to make sure, actually. Uh, 
manage uh, skills. No, sorry, it's uh, direct skill use, I believe. Direct ability use. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, he is. He's using everything at some point. Okay. Oh, we're in the elite. Heading this way. And you know what? I just realized we just hit the 30 minute mark. We still haven't found Ramon, but we're quite close. The next episode, we will get to Ramon and we will kill him. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you next time for when we deal with Ramon. Uh, have a great day, everyone.